Welcome to our IROS 2020 talk on Autonomous Spot, Long Range Autonomous Exploration of Extreme Environments with Legged Locomotion. This work serves as one of the first efforts to enable large scale and long duration autonomy on legged robots, which was part of the solution that won first place at the urban circuit of the 2020 DARPA Subterranean Challenge. Autonomous robot mapping and traversal of extreme environments under time constraints has a wide variety of real-world applications, including search and rescue, exploration of extreme planetary surfaces, and inspection of underground urban environments. As a concrete mission, we focus on the DARPA Subterranean Challenge. This robotics competition spans three years and seeks novel approaches to rapidly traverse and map underground environments autonomously. Extreme terrains involve mobility stressing elements that can impose conflicting requirements on a robotic system. In the Sub-T Challenge, robots need to be compact so they can travel through passages as narrow as 80 centimeters while at the same time being large enough to carry advanced autonomy payloads. Similarly, the robots should be energy efficient so they can remain operational for at least one hour, but also be powerful enough so they can traverse slopes and extreme terrains. Legged robots offer mobility advantages that well balance these conflicting requirements. In this work, we focus on Boston Dynamics Spot Robot as our base mobility platform. We briefly discuss our Nebula autonomy architecture and explain how Nebula provides high-level intelligence that allows Spot to execute complex missions across large-scale environments. Nebula stands for Networked Belief Aware Perceptual Autonomy. Motivated by autonomous exploration of extreme terrains on Earth and other planetary bodies, NASA's JPL is developing the Nebula architecture. While the main objective of this work is to provide a system level overview of the entire autonomy stack, we will describe certain aspects of the algorithms which are critical to enabling legged autonomy in complex missions. Here is the overview of the Nebula system architecture that enables high levels of autonomy on SPOT. All SPOT's interface provides sensory measurements and receives actuation commands. The sensory measurements go through various odometry algorithms, which are then fused into a single odometry output. The global inference builds a global map and learns high-level semantic and geometric information from the environment. The belief manager maintains the robot's model of the environment and quantifies uncertainty of incoming information. The mission planner coordinates mission tasks for a fleet of heterogeneous robots. The global planner guides the coverage behavior to enable rapid exploration of the complex environment. The local planner assesses traversability risk and plans safe local trajectories for spot. The communication module facilitates data exchange among multiple robots and a base station. The belief prediction module enables perception and uncertainty aware planning in order to reduce mission risk and increase world representation accuracy. To fully endow SPOT with high levels of intelligence, we integrate the Nebula payload with SPOT. The sensor package provides sensing systems used for state estimation, SLAM, object detection, and planning. The power and computing core consists of an electronic stack to power all subsystems to process autonomy data on board. The communications deployment system carries communication radios and autonomously deploys the radios on the field. We demonstrated the performance of Ospot in an industrial complex during the urban circuit of the 2020 Sub-T Challenge. Spot begins its mission to find and locate survivors within a hazardous and unmapped environment. A staircase is detected. Spot positions itself for descent. Nebula sensing and computing payloads as well as the communication deployment mechanism are designed to be lightweight and compact so as not to impede SPOT's mobility and sensor coverage during descent. Nebula fuses multiple odometry sources to obtain SPOT state estimate, which is robust to perceptual challenges caused by obscurance, environment self-similarities, and jarring motions. Here the odometry estimate is used to spatially integrate LiDAR points to form a local map. Communication is challenging in subsurface environments opaque to radio waves. Spot sits down before deploying a communication node from a safe height. 
Nodes are deployed at strategic locations to enable sharing of mission-critical information among robots as well as the command post. Hazards such as obstacles, holes, and slopes can physically harm the robot and endanger the mission. Nebula's heterogeneous sensing and computing units are used to reliably detect and plan paths that avoid these hazardous regions. Here, Nebula detects a water puddle as a high-risk region and plans a path around it. Nebula guides Spot to an unexplored narrow passage after the surrounding low-risk areas have been sufficiently explored. Spot's wheeled robot teammate has already passed through this room, leaving a node to extend the communication network. Through this network, the robot fleet has received information that there is a staircase. Spot is instructed to conclude its local exploration mission early and is guided to the staircase, which will likely lead to an unexplored level. Mission critical information, such as the presence of a staircase, is stored in a sparse graph structure that spans the entirety of the explored space. We call this structure the Information Roadmap, or IRM. The IRM consists of nodes and edges which encode information about sensor coverage and traversability. Nodes are partitioned into breadcrumbs and frontiers. Spot deploys another communication node at the base of the staircase. Node locations are stored in the IRM and help determine future dropping locations. Frontiers indicate areas that have yet to be fully covered. As these frontiers are explored, breadcrumbs with information about the surrounding environment are dropped. Here we visualize the IRM constructed in real time so far by the robot fleet. It stores all mission critical information acquired about the explored environment. Spot enters a large pillared room with uneven terrain and construction waste scattered on the ground. Spot limits its trajectories to certain homotopy classes, leading to a large looping behavior that efficiently covers the space without the need for auxiliary search detours that are costly in time. As Spot leaves the room, it identifies a red backpack, evidence of survivor activity. The location of the backpack is recorded in the IRM. Spot enters a small room to enable full sensor coverage and combat occlusions and field of view constraints. Spot executes a perception aware local search behavior. As Spot continues deeper into the industrial complex, it identifies a doorway leading to a larger unexplored space. Spot has entered a maze like environment consisting of narrow passages and varying size interconnected rooms. After completing a perception-aware search behavior, Spot leaves and continues down the hallway. Spot identifies a new side room and enters it. Here we visualize the LiDAR-centric 3D map generated by Nebula in real time of the environment explored thus far by Spot. The maps generated by each robot in the fleet are fused in real time to generate a multi-robot map of the multi-level subsurface structure of the industrial complex. The map is annotated with the locations where Spot and its robot teammates made key semantic observations of a gas leak, backpack, and other various objects indicating survivor activity. We are currently focusing our efforts on advancing the Nebula framework to enable robust multi-robot exploration of an unknown natural cave. In order for Spot to achieve high levels of autonomy in a cave environment, we are extending the Nebula planning architecture to include a hierarchical, risk-aware coverage planner that predicts future hazards and plans motions that maximize sensor coverage for a given time constraint. Since our cave exploration mission is both long duration and large scale, we first introduce key spatial and temporal approximations of the policy space. Then we employ a cascaded receding horizon POMDP solver that quickly finds non-myopic real-time robot behaviors over the belief space. In order to plan robot behaviors under sensing and motion uncertainty, we capture the probabilistic distribution over all possible states in a belief. Our belief consists of the world state and the robot pose. The world state can be further decomposed into two components, 
The first component is a representation of the world geometry or occupancy, and the second component describes which parts of the world have been observed or covered by the robot. The world belief state is constructed and maintained in the belief value manager according to two posteriors. The first is the belief over the local world geometry or the cost map, which informs the world occupancy state. The second is the belief over the path history or the pose graph, which informs the world coverage state. In order to reduce complexity, we decompose the belief space into local and global representations. The local belief map, or lattice IRM, is a dense grid structure of fixed dimensions that moves the robot. It is maintained in the lattice manager and passed to the lattice level planner. The global belief map, or graph IRM, is a sparse structure of dynamic size which captures the connectivity of free space in the explored environment. Likewise, it is maintained in the graph manager and serves as an input to the graph level planner. Thus, the world robot belief state can be represented in terms of both local and global structures. Here we visualize the cost map in a simulated cave environment. The cost map is a dense grid storing traversal risk of the surrounding terrain. The lattice structure stores risk and sensor coverage information and serves as a spatial approximation of the local policy space. In the top right corner, we see the graph structure. This structure stores global risk and coverage information and serves as a spatial approximation of the global policy space. Together, the lattice and graph structures temporally span the full mission. We define the one-step reward as a function of the information gain and cost associated with an action. Our goal is to find the sequence of robot motions that maximize the discounted reward accumulated from time t onwards. In order to find a computationally tractable solution, we leverage our hierarchical lattice and graph structures. Our graph level policy maps the graph belief state to high level tasks and serves as an input to the lattice policy. The lattice level policy sends controller actions to the kinodynamic planner, which produces robot velocity commands. By combining the graph and lattice level policies, we define the overall hierarchical policy and our coverage optimization problem. To solve this problem, we employ a Monte Carlo tree search or a MCTS-based PalmDP solver. As an example of our MCTS approach, we can consider this sample domain where the robot's field of view is represented by a blue rectangle. Our PalmDP solver plans over long horizons by constructing a search tree from multiple simulated action observation sequences. Here we show two possible sequences. During simulation, each history or action observation sequence is stored as a node in the tree. After each rollout has reached a terminating condition, the coverage reward is backpropagated up the tree and the action sequence with the highest coverage value is selected and converted to controller inputs for the robot. In this case, while the terminal world robot state for both sequences are identical, the left sequence is more rewarding than the right sequence since fewer actions were required to cover the same area. Here we can watch our hierarchical coverage planner guiding the robot's exploration of the cave in real time. The robot has reached the deepest point of the cave. If we zoom out on the graph IRM, we see that it spans the entirety of the explored environment. We have presented our developments towards endowing a legged robot with our nebula architecture for risk and perception-aware autonomy. We believe this work takes an important step in advancing the state of the practice and demonstrates the capabilities of legged robots for executing complex, real-world missions in extreme environments. Thank you for your interest in this work, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.